creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What am I bringing to you today? Oh my word, I am so stinking excited about this DIY because this DIY, the outcome I feel is amazing and I love it and it was a DIY that I just could not wait to bring to you. And this DIY is using two of these hardcover books that you can get at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. I will tell you that I did get some inspiration for this DIY from Cricut but I knew that I could put my own twist on it and I knew I could do it using items that you could get from the Dollar Tree. I can't wait to show you this, so let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. For this DIY, you're gonna need two hardcover books. If you've got some on hand already that you wanna repurpose, perfect. I didn't have any that I wanted to use and so the Dollar Tree seemed like a perfect option because they've got tons of books, they're only a dollar, and I don't have any emotional attachment to them. If your hardcover book has one of these paper covers on it, go ahead and remove it because we don't need it. For this next step, I will be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ink, and this is a matte chalk paint. This next step of the DIY is completely optional. It's one that you don't have to do. I'm painting the cover of my book because I seriously scoured the Dollar Tree looking for a black hardcover book and I couldn't find it. So I decided since I had some Waverly chalk paint on hand that putting a quick coat of paint on it was no big deal. This needs to suit my decor style. If you're doing this in a decor style where you don't need to paint the book or Dollar Tree has a book in a color that you need, then it is a win-win and this is definitely a step that you don't need to take. I will tell you though that when you are doing this DIY, you want two books that are identical in size. And so that was another reason that I went the route of the Dollar Tree because I knew that I could get two identical books for a dollar. And so it would add to the character, I suppose, if you went with two different size books, if you wanted to, that you wanted to repurpose at home. It may not make a difference, but I personally wanted two of the same size because this is a decor piece that is going in my entryway of my house. For this next step, this is an alternative if you don't have a Cricut. Go to Google Image Search, click up here in the corner where it says Image, and you're gonna do a search for the letter H, and you're gonna pull up a letter H template that you can print. There are so many different fonts to pick from, so you choose the one that you like. I personally am gonna go with just a plain letter H, and when you click on it, it pulls it up, and all you have to do is right click on this and print it then cut it out and you've got yourself a template. And if you've got a Cricut, you can easily just cut one out using Cricut Design Space. I printed out all of the letters to the word hope using Google Image Search. I printed it out on cardstock. I'm only using brown cardstock because I figured for video purposes, it would be easier for you to see versus using white paper. You can print this out on copy paper. I do it on something that you don't mind throwing out because at the end, these templates probably aren't gonna be worth a lot and usable again. And so I'm gonna cut out all four of my letters. Now I'm gonna take a piece of scrap cardboard if you don't have a piece of scrap cardboard from say an Amazon Prime box, Dollar Tree has their trifold display boards that are a dollar. When I don't have any boxes on hand, I like to pick up a couple of these trifold display boards because I use cardboard in quite a bit of my DIYs. And for a dollar, it really isn't much to pay. You're gonna take and trace all of your letters on a piece of cardboard. Once you've got your letter traced onto your cardboard, you're gonna wanna cut your letter out. I found that using a razor, it's a lot easier to cut through cardboard than it is to use scissors. Whatever you're comfortable with, do it. 
If you use a razor, I find that when you use a ruler and you place the ruler up against your letter and use it as a guide when you're cutting, your razor won't veer off and cut and you'll get nice clean edges. And again, using this black chalk paint by Waverly, I'm gonna give my letters a coating on the back side. I'm not real worried about the side that's white. If you're using pure cardboard from say a prime box and you've got the two beige sides, I'd only worry about the back side of the H because that's all that's gonna show. If there's lettering on both sides, then you are gonna wanna paint both sides. But because I'm using Dollar Tree's trifold display board and it has that white side to it, I'm just gonna do the back side where it's beige. Don't put too much paint on it because then your cardboard will warp. If you just put a nice light coat just to cover up that beige cardboard, that's all you need. We're not looking for perfection. So we've got our cardboard letters painted and we've got our original template from Google Image Search. We're gonna set that aside for now because that's not a template that we need now. I'm gonna take my cardboard and I'm gonna pick two colors of cardstock that I like that are gonna suit my decor needs. And so for this DIY, I've chosen again this craft brown and a darker brown. I'm gonna trace my H and my P with the craft brown and the O and the E with the darker brown, making it every other letter. Now the reason tracing the cardboard and making a new template versus using the original template that we printed out using Google Image Search is because that original template is just a bit smaller than the cardboard H. And we need this new H to be the same size, if not a hair bigger than the cardboard H. I'm gonna do this to all four of my letters, alternating the color card stock that I'm using. So we've now got our new letters that we just traced out using the cardboard and our painted cardboard. These are the two letters that you're gonna need to finish this DIY. Now we're gonna take the book and we're gonna find the midway point, the halfway point of our book. And you're gonna wanna give these pages a nice good crease down the middle, pushing pretty good to keep it open to these pages. Now you're gonna take your letters and you're gonna place them right on the bottom of the page where the last sentence is of the page. You don't wanna to go to the very bottom of the page, you just wanna go where the last of the wording is and you're gonna trace your letter. On the bottom parts of the H, you don't need to trace them. You wanna leave those two bottom lines of the H blank because we don't want a pencil mark. You're just gonna trace the top half. Now for the page next to it, you're gonna take another one of your letters. So in my case, it's the letter O in hope, and you're gonna line it up on that bottom sentence again of the page, and you're gonna trace it. And you can see that I've alternated my letters. My H was the craft brown, and now the O is this darker brown. Now for this next step, you're gonna wanna use a self-healing cutting mat and if you don't have one of those you can use a cutting board you're gonna place it on the page in back of your letter that you just traced now using either an exacto knife or a razor you're gonna want to cut out your letters tracing the pencil mark that you made but you don't want to cut out along that bottom edge of each letter at the bottom of the page, which would be the bottom edges of my H and the bottom part of my O. You're just gonna cut out the top half detaching it from the page, but it'll still be attached at the bottom of the letter. For each book that you have, you can put two letters in each book, one letter on one page, one letter on the other. And when you're doing a letter like the letter O, there is no flat edge to it. So on that bottom edge of the O, at the bottom of the paper, at that bottom sentence there, you're really gonna wanna make sure and not cut all the way across. You wanna leave it so it's still attached to the page. For this next step, I will be using a spray adhesive, and this is one by Scotch. 
This was a $3 can that I got at Joann's for $1.50 using a 50% off coupon. I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna place a paper towel in between the two letters of this book, which is the H and the O, and I'm gonna turn the page. Then taking my spray adhesive, I'm gonna give the back of this letter and this page a light coat of spray adhesive. Then you're gonna flip your page back over and it's gonna adhere to the page in back of it. And so you wanna smooth out this page, but you're gonna wanna move quickly because you need to peel up your H off of that back page quickly. And because this is a repositionable glue, you can do that pretty easily. If you're using an advanced tape glider, it's gonna be even easier for you. Then you're gonna take your cardboard letter H and because there's spray adhesive on the back of this H still, you're gonna place this cardboard H in back of your book letter H, adhering it. This is giving it stability because we want these letters to stand up and the cardboard is gonna make your letters stand up. Isn't that awesome? Now we're gonna take our second template, not the original Google template, the second template, we're gonna spray some spray adhesive on it and we're gonna place it right in back on the bottom of the page. You're gonna to wanna to take some hot glue and place it on this bottom edge here of your letters and this is gonna help keep them in place and it's also gonna stop them from leaning forward or backwards. This is what you should be left with. Tell me this is not so stinking cool. You're gonna repeat this process for every letter in every book. I think when doing this DIY, I like to try and stick with words that have an even amount of letters because I think it just makes it easier. But you know, if you end up picking a word that has an odd number of letters, then maybe just start off your book with a heart or end your word with a heart. It, it's pretty simple fix. All this needs is a couple of finishing touches and can you guess what those are? Yes, my twine flowers. These are such a quick, easy, and budget-friendly flower to make. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how I make these flowers and my twine bows, I'll link that in the description box below. I feel like this is the perfect finishing touch for this DIY. I gotta say, this goes in my top five favorite DIYs that I've ever done. The outcome of this is absolutely gorgeous. Is it quick and easy? No, it is easy. It's just a bit time consuming, but it is well worth the time that you put into it because the outcome is so unique. This is one of those DIYs that is so budget friendly. It's gonna cost you under $5 to make and would make an amazing gift to give as well. You could put somebody's name on this and gift it and they would love it. You could put the seasons, you name it, endless possibilities. This is an amazing piece of decor. It is unusual. It's something very different. And what I love is that it is so inexpensive, so budget friendly, and nobody would know that you made this, especially made it using Dollar Tree items. This looks like a piece that you would find in a high dollar store. This is an amazing gift to give, and really, it doesn't take all that much time. It takes a couple of hours to do, and the outcome, you see it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and love it as much as I do. Please give this video a thumbs up, and let's get this video to 5,000 likes, because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow, and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody. Thank you.